Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a very important and useful Power BI interview question. And this is not only just an interview question, this is a very common ask in any of the projects. And the common ask is, we need to introduce a index column in a visual. Now remember, there are other easier way where we can go ahead and introduce an index column in a Power Query. That is a Power Query editor. But I'm not talking about about you know power query editor over here i'm specifically talking about any visual so for example you are having two visuals over here and this particular row number overall which is the name of the column you can rename this to index as well it will give you a unique uh, combination of uh, contiguous numbers which is one two three four till the last row right so this is what i'm talking about and this is a very important interview question uh, asked across any of the companies okay so let us go ahead and try to see uh, how to solve this so basically uh, there is a row number function dax function which is introduced by microsoft very recently about a year ago and we'll be using uh, this row number function to achieve this index column so let us quickly see the syntax of the row number so row number will be having you know different uh, parameters and all of them are optional so very interestingly if you see the first parameters is called as relation which is again optional and it has to be a table expression right and if this is omitted then the order by must be explicitly specified so you can go ahead and read this uh, but i'll show you in using actual examples so that you do not have to mug this entire thing up again the order by is also optional uh, if you have specified the relation then you do not need to give the order by uh, so all these are optional parameters and we will see uh, for example, this is very important parameter partition by but you can achieve your results without partition partition by as well. So we will actually go ahead and see using, uh, you know, real life examples how this is done. So for the first example, let me go ahead and type so that you guys will be able to understand clearly. So over here, I will specify as row number, right? And it asks me to give a relation so in the first example i will not be giving a relation because this is a uh, you know optional so we, i'll directly go to order by so i'll type order by and i'll give financials date right and for the second argument okay so the first argument is done for the second argument i will just simply use a partition by but i'll not give anything i'll just give this partition by as empty okay now let's see what happens uh, i will quickly pull this in the visual so see uh, it's called row num overall this is the name of the measure and it's going to give you contiguous set of numbers starting from 1 2 3 till the last row which is 16 so in the first example we are seeing although we are using order by on the financials date and this partition by we are keeping it empty right so automatically it's deciding and it's going to do a partition by on the overall table particularly the date so for the second example over here let us see how this is done as i told you that we will be experimenting with different a usage of row number so over here i've used the row number function again and remember in the first syntax if, we, if you see the syntax of um, you know row number it says relation which is nothing but a table expression so table expression maybe uh, you know you can do it using all or all selected using summarize all these things will be the first parameter that is a relation so over here i am doing another variation of the row number function and using all selected so inside all selected the first, uh, you know, uh, uh, column that we have over here is country and comma the second, second column which we have is the product. So I'm going to give an all or an all selected function uh, as a tabular function and I'll just use these two columns whichever is present in the visual. And I will not use anything at all. I'll not use partisan by, I'll not use order by and you see automatically Power BI is going to give me this visual, right? And what it has done, if you look carefully, it has automatically sorted the first column and then the second column, right? So automatically sorting is done. So it will do that sorting internally and I just wanted to show you different variations of row number. So this is the second example. So let's go to the third example and see how this we can, we can achieve this using the columns date and also sales so i'll select the uh, this particular visual and quickly show you the uh, the measure let me bring this towards the bottom yeah so this is the measure now the first parameter again which is the relation right so this is nothing but a table expression so over here okay let me bring the order by at the bottom okay so on the first expression what i have done is i have written a 
summarize. So, in the earlier expression or rather the earlier example, we have seen using the all selected. Over here, I am using summarize and inside summarize, I can either use all or I can use all selected. That is inside summarize, you have to give a table expression, right? And then we will do a group by based on financials date because this date is used in the visual and we are going to do a sum of sales which is also present in the visual. So, if you use both the columns which are present in the visual and do a summarize and then do an order by on the date column which is this, you will get the exact same thing that we show earlier, right? Um, which is row number, right? T from 1 till 16. So, hope you are clear with this, uh, this third example as well. By the way, uh, some of you may ask me what happens if I remove this all or all selected, right? So, very interestingly, if you, if you remove this, look at the numbers over here, right? All of them will become same, which is 1. Because each and every, it will treat each and every row wise, right? So, you cannot do this. This is not the expected outcome. So, you have to remove all the filters from financials, right? So, which is why you are using either all or all selected. Both of them you can use depending obviously on your scenario. So, over here I am using all and getting the same result. Now, quickly I will go to the last example and show you this is where I am using the partition by. So, I am bringing in an extra column called country making the situation a bit complex over here uh, and we will quickly select the row num by country. Okay, The only difference over here is I am not using any uh, you know relation uh, table at the first that is parameter 1 is omitted and what I told you that if you omit parameter 1 then you have to specify an order by. So, order by I am specifying as order by date right and partition by. Now, what do you mean by partition by? Over here if you see the ranking is done based on country. So, based on Canada 1 through till 16 right and then it starts refresh. The counting gets reset at the country level. So, when France occurs, it again resets from 1. It again goes till 16 and then it ends and then it again resets for Germany. So, this is how the entire partition by will work. So, you need to specify the partitioning over here based on country. Let us say, if you want to give it on a segment level, then you have to do a partition by based on segment. So, that will all be based on your requirement. So, guys, if you have any comments related to uh, row number or indexing uh, in visual level, so do let me know in the comment section. I will try my level best to answer them. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hey, go ahead and subscribe because I will be bringing in more such useful content as well. So, till the next time we meet, keep practicing Power BI and have a great day. Bye-bye.